story time with Mrs. Smith outside. All right, so we are going to read. Hey guys, listen to story, okay? Because we're going to read The Interrupting Chicken. It says, this book is called The Interrupting Chicken, right, Papa? Yes. Now, please don't interrupt the story. By David Ezra Stian. It says, it was bedtime for this little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh no, Papa, I'll be good. Look at how eager he looks. Come on, I wanna read the story. This one, whoops. It's called Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, 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 they began to eat the house until an old woman who lived there came out and said, What a lovely children, why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't go in, she's a witch! So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Is that how the story's supposed to go? No. No, I didn't. No, it didn't. Chicken, said Papa. I mean, I'm sorry. Chicken, yes, Papa. You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing. So you should, so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to grandma's, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods by and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when Mom. out jumped a little red chicken. And she said, don't talk to strangers. So little red riding hood didn't. The end. Is that how the story is supposed to go? No. No. Chicken? Yes, Papa. You did it again. You interrupted two stories and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry. But he was a mean old wolf. Yes, now get back into bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story and I'll be good. Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm the sky was falling when out jumped a little red chicken and she said, don't panic, it's just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't, the end. That's not how the story's supposed to go. Chicken! Yes, Papa. You did it again! <gasps> oh, Papa. I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story, and I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we're out of stories. Oh, no, Papa. I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, Papa 
Then said Papa yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me tell a story, said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all What do you guys think happened? Papa? Looks like Papa got sleepy during story time. Good night, Papa. The end. Little Red Chicken and Papa snuggled up at the end together and fell asleep. That was our story for today. I hope you enjoyed story time outside. And until tomorrow, bye guys.